This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. So uh, we will be starting our next topic, that is multiple cycle uh, maintenance strategy plan. So basically, here we will have multiple cycles. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are introduction to multiple cycle plan. We will understand what is multiple cycle plan, maintenance strategy creation. Okay, well, how the strategy is created, but we already created this in our previous sessions that we will use. Assignment of strategy to the task list. This also actually we will we covered already in the, our task list sessions that we will just see today again. And then we will create a time based strategy plan. Time based strategy means multiple cycle plan. And then we will create it, we'll create it, and then we'll schedule it. Scheduling of that maintenance plan. Then we'll do the deadline monitoring, deadline monitoring, and then we will be generating the orders. Also, we will cover performance based strategy plan, performance based multiple cycle plan. Okay. And also, today we will see background job scheduling of the deadline monitoring program. This also we will cover how to schedule that deadline monitoring program as a background job that we will cover today. Okay. So, this is the agenda on the uh, multiple cycle plan. So basically, uh, in our preventive maintenance uh, flow design, first we created the strategy, maintenance strategy. Then we created the task list, task list. Then the strategy was assigned to the task list. This already we covered. Okay. Then today we are creating the maintenance plan with multiple cycle. Multiple cycle means nothing but strategy. Strategy. Yesterday we covered a single cycle plan. So today we are covering multiple cycle. Plan. So in the plan. We will be in the item, in the plan, in the item, we will be assigning the task list. That's what we will be doing. Okay. So this is the, so maintenance plans are of three types. This we discussed already yesterday. One is single cycle plan. Next one is strategy plan, multiple cycle plan, then multiple counter plan. Okay. So in this, we already covered yesterday single cycle plan. In the single cycle plan, again, we covered both time-based, performance-based, counter-based. We already covered both. So today, so today we will be covering the strategy plan. In the strategy plan, again you have two types: time-based, performance-based. So these ones we are covering today. This portion, we are covering this portion today. This portion, okay. So first we will understand uh, what is strategy plan. Okay. So the individual components of your technical objects must be maintained at different intervals so normally in the in the equipment technical object means what equipment so in the equipment you will have a lot of spare parts a lot of uh, objects so those things has to be maintained at different intervals okay equipment is same but within the same equipment different parts or different activities you need to do at different intervals for example an external visual inspection for rust and water tightness is performed on the water pumps at your company each month. So every month they have to check for the rust on the pump, water pump. Okay. And at the same time, however, the wear in the gearbox for the pump is only checked once every year. So in the gearbox, uh, in the gearbox, the wear will be checked every year. So uh, rust for the pump is checked every month, and wear in the gearbox checked for every year. That means two different cycles, two different activities. So in that case, you go for the multiple cycle plan, nothing but strategy. Plan. From the different maintenance intervals, a maintenance strategy can be created and use it to plan and perform maintenance easily and efficiently. So in this case, you have to create a maintenance strategy. The maintenance strategy consists of several maintenance packages and incorporates the scheduling rule for preventive maintenance and the task lists are assigned to the maintenance strategies so this already we covered extensively in our previous sessions okay so this is the example so you have a pump you have a pump every month they will do the external visual inspection and after every three months they will do the internal visual inspection and every year once in a year they will do the uh, gear teeth for wheel. they will check the Gear teeth for wheel. So on the same object for the different intervals, they do different activities. So in that case, you need a multiple cycle, different cycles, right? Different cycles, different activities. So that's the case. You need a multiple cycle. 
multiple cycle plan so first for that you need to create a strategy so in our case we already created a strategy so let me just show you that then we will go to the this one so in our previous sessions we already created the uh, maintenance strategy let me show you this okay ip level maintenance strategy we covered this extensively so this is the one here you see maut hyphen p if you if you see this maut hyphen t this one time based strategy suppose if you take this if you go to here packages first let me show you the normal details this one we covered already we covered all this scheduling indicator all this call origin all these things we covered already then the packages packages are nothing but cycles so our cycles are 15 days 30 days 90 days and these are our cycles so these are nothing but packages okay so this we already created actually maintenance strategy okay now the next one is we assign the task list to the maintenance strategy okay so we assigned the maintenance strategy to the task list this also we covered during our task list sessions suppose if you see here let me take my our equipment let's go to our this is the equipment 500 kva diesel generators so if you take this equipment we already created the task list if i go to ia03 a03 this is a equipment enter so if you recollect we created three task list for the equipment one or first two are time based assigned with time based strategy the last one is assigned with the performance based strategy we cover this so if you go to header if i select if i go to header here we assign the strategy but this also we covered during our strategy class okay so the maintenance strategy once created it is assigned to the task list is assigned to the task list and for the operations you will assign the packages we are here first we assign the strategy to the task list header and for all the operations you assign the packages cycles this also we have done so suppose let me show you this it's just like a recap on today so if you see here if you go to operation and if you go to packages so this see this one so for the operations we have assigned the packages this already we have completed so this we have done now the next one now we need to create the <coughs> strategy plan okay so let's start <coughs> so yesterday we covered single cycle plan single cycle plan in the single cycle plan again we covered both time based time based and we covered performance based we covered both we covered both okay so now today we are covering multiple cycle plan multiple cycle nothing but strategy plan strategy plan we are covering this okay so first we will create a time based strategy plan okay so here the t code was single cycle plan ip41 okay now here multiple cycle plan strategy plan the t code is ip42 ip40 ip42 okay so now let's create it ip40 or let me show you the navigation path go to logistics go to plan maintenance preventive maintenance maintenance planning maintenance plans open this create open this ip42 strategy plan nothing but multiple cycle plan double click okay and here you see create maintenance plan plan number system will assign when we save maintenance plan category what call object you are going to raise whether you are going to raise order or what you are going to raise notification which one we are going to generate order normally select order 
and here today we have strategy in yesterday's single cycle plan we don't have this field at all so let me just show you again just to make you understand if you go to ip41 single cycle plan we don't have that strategy field here because it is only one cycle but in the strategy plan you have that strategy okay uh, so now we are going to generate order select maintenance order now strategy let me assign the strategy time based right this one maut hyphen t time based strategy this one assign it enter okay you will get this screen give the description maintenance of 500 kva dg okay now enter your equipment here this is my equipment enter okay the moment you enter all the information from the equipment will get copied to the screen enter see all the information got copied okay so now the most important thing is if you scroll to top again as of now if you see here there are no cycles here you see as of now there is no cycles the moment i assign the task list at the below at the top at the bottom here the moment i assign the task list now you will get all the cycles packages here you will get so now let us assign the task list scroll down search for the task list I'll assign the equipment task list. This is our equipment. Search for it. So we have this one. Maintenance of 500 kVA DG. Select this. Click on the button. Choose. See now it got assigned. The moment it got assigned, if you scroll to top, see now your cycles have come. Then no, the, after assigning the task list only, you will get the cycles. So now go to scheduling parameters. Now here you see all this information got copied from your strategy. Yesterday in the single cycle plan, we entered all these things, call origin and everything manually. But here today, we have strategy. So from the strategy, everything got copied here. Let me show you the strategy one more time. IP11. If you go to IP11, this is the one we are assigning there. If you go to details, here you see, we maintained call origin 90%. We maintained shift factor for late completion 50%. So all this information, and our scheduling indicator is time. So all this information got copied here. You see? But once it copied to the plan, here you can make changes. Okay, system copy the data from the strategy to the plan. But later on, if you want to change here, you can change it. Because all are in editable mode. You can change it. Okay. But let's keep it as it is. Call origin 90%. Scheduling period 365 days output. Start of cycle from today. 2022. 20, 20. Enter. Go to additional data. Enter the sort field. This is the plant. Okay. Authorization group maintenance. No. Enter. All done. All the information is entered now. Now let's save the maintenance plan. So when I save, as we discussed yesterday, it will create two numbers. Plan number, item. Let me save this. So plan created. Plan number is 131. <clears throat> Maintenance plan 131. So now if you go to change mode, let's go to change mode. Enter. See, this is the plan number and this is the item. Now, one more thing. Here, you can have more than one item also. In the maintenance plan, it's not that you can have only one item. You can have more than one item. Also. So let's have two items here today. Click on this button. Create more items. So now second one. So let's say second one. Let's say painting of 500 kVA DG. Okay. As usual, enter the equipment. Enter. All the information got copied here. Now let me assign the suitable task list. Okay. Execute. So I already created a task list for painting activity. Select this. Assign it. Done. Now. Scheduling parameters are already there. All these are already there. This is at header level. Now save it. Now you will get one more item. This is an interview question. In the interviews, they will ask, can we assign more than one item to your maintenance plan? Yes, possible. So now if I go to display, you see, it is having two items. This is a plan number. We have two items, one for general maintenance, one for painting. So here you have two maintenance item numbers. So suppose if I select this, to see the first item, select the first item, go to it. Now to go to the second item, just click on this button, next item. So you can, you can have more than one item also, okay? 
so we created the time based strategy plan okay we created it already we discussed yesterday maintenance plan structure it will have scheduling data and item data this one this is the scheduling data this portion is the scheduling data and this one is the item data so in the item data you will have reference object reference object means nothing but what is the equipment function location and all then planning data planning data here planning plant planner group all that information